Welcome back to Jimmy DeVille's Garage and the Barn Fine Fergie project. In this episode, we've got custom piston liners, brand new pistons, we've got con rods and we've got bearings. We've even got a rebuilt crank and hopefully we're gonna be putting it all together. It's time for Gav and I to get super busy. on a lathe is a special type of meditation for Gav and I and when it can bring an old machine back to life its joys are even greater. So will these custom piston liners prevail? Only time will tell. The show. Yeah. All right then. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, dare I say it? Here we are, Gav. We are finally going to be rebuilding the bottom half of our 1953 TEFs engine. But we have said that quite a few times Several before. Times, yeah. However, we now pretty much, other than the cam, have touched everything on this box. So we really do think it is time to put this back together. But who knows what's about to happen? Yeah. So I took these home. Stuck them on my lathe and managed to machine this lip down uh, so it matches the old one. So hopefully when we put these back in everything should stack up nicely and we should have the right, the right standoff on top of the block when we put the cylinder back. And I don't want your head to get too big but they are looking mighty fine. Thanks mate. Yeah they really are. So uh, the crank's redone, we've got custom piston liners. Here we go, we're about to attempt to put the bottom half of this engine back together, believe it or not. The first job today is to fit the liner gaskets, followed by the liners, cuff rings, retaining rings and locating dowels. That's the gaskets going in nicely, but will those custom liners fit? So if we've got this all right, this should all now sit yeah. exactly the same as yeah. the original. Should do, yeah. Right, little, should we Scrap. get some? Yeah, a bit of wash, a bit of blue rain. Yeah. Just give them a little light coating of oil. Goodbye to it. Some good, yeah. Cheerio, mate. In? Yeah. Yep. Should just. Oh, yes. That's what I want. All the way home. The other three cylinder liners quickly followed suit, slipping seamlessly into the block. It's now time to refit those pesky coverings and see if everything fits just the way it should. Is your posterior going? <laughs> Just a gentle tap there. Oh, squeaky yeah, yeah. bum time. <laughs> yeah, it is squeaky bum yeah. time. Oh, oh, no, gently, that. gently. Just a real. Right. That's... This looks high. There she goes. Big jump. Oi, oi. Oh, she's at a fraction. Oh, well, that looks pretty good. Yeah. 
Look at that, she's actually uh, free to spin. Free to spin there. Oh, that's where she should go. That's all looking in line, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Next. Well, they're all down, and they all they're all flush with this combustion chamber. Combustion. So it's just this top insert, and then, and then those downs back in. Yeah, because those top inserts should, I think, it's about four thou proud they should be. Four thou proud this surface. Yeah, I'll check that again. The, just the fact that in the background we can hear a tractor just spur you on. Yeah, and it's running. So <laughs> it's running. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, top retaining rings in, and uh, see where we are. See where we are. But so far, good. though, that's good. These are a little squeezy, aren't they? Yeah. Go on, work for us. Oh, perfect, mate. That's perfect. That is perfect. That is genuinely perfect. Hang on, hang on. This uh, is the first time I've seen you smile. <laughs> <laughs> I've been worrying about this. So, what should that be? Fourth out. I can see that that is. That is well, the gavometer says yeah, that is four thousand. My Mark One eyeball says four thousand. That's spot, spot on, isn't it? That is that is pucker. <laughs> 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 Come on, next one. Next one. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Can put these little beauties in. In. That is the liners in. Now we're making progress. We are making progress. Uh, right, now we do need to do a thing we did, that, which didn't sort of work for us when we took it apart. We need to now hold all of this in using the studs and those sleeves so that when we're putting the pistons in from the bottom, they don't come flying out. Yeah. So uh, should we get those held in place? And then I think we probably need to consider tipping the whole block up Yeah. so we can drop the crank in. Yeah. And the con rods and the pistons, pistons from the bottom. Yeah. Cut. Crank. Pist <laughs> pistons. It's this engine, isn't it? It's this engine, right. Pistons, con rods, Pistons, con rods, crankshaft. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pistons, con yeah. Let's get these held in place. Yeah. That's looking good though, isn't it? Yeah, pleasing that, mate. Beautiful. <laughs> Those did go in there smooth and silky like, didn't they? They did, sweet as a nut. Sweet as a nut. So the cylinders, the cuff rings, and the retaining rings are all in. So we've sort and we've retained them in with all the studs. And that's kind of all we can do from the top of this engine. This is where this engine gets a bit diff different because the crank has to go in from here, not the bottom. But before that, we need to put the con rods and the pistons assembled in from the bottom. Yeah. So the best way we think to do that is tip the engine up on its end so we can get in from the bottom and then drop the crank in from the top which means we need to upend okay. the old girl doesn't yeah. it tip so uh, we're going to tip it up and uh, see if we can't start getting the pistons con rods and then crank in mm -hmm. with it on its end yep. right then this uh, happy peach with its big old wiggly worms inside <laughs> needs to get tipped up yeah should we do it let's go <laughs> One false move now, and it'd be a surefire way for this project to be over. Cracking this engine block would be sayonara for our TEF. And that's something Gav and I definitely don't want to happen. So we're taking our time and getting this engine move right, with a little bit of the old heave-ho. We're using the old chain hoist, ensuring this engine can't take a dive to the floor. If you've got any favourite old tools, we'd love to hear about them in the comments section down below. It's 
finally time to put new rings on the pistons and assemble them to the conrods. Yeah, so we've done the conrods. We've put new small end bearings in these conrods. Yeah, the bearings, old bearings have now gone. And we did use, I will be honest, a little bit of farm tech just like this to do that. Yeah, so we've got our new um, shiny pistons. And here are the piston rings, of which there are five. And they can be an absolute pain in the butt sometimes to get on without snapping. So we've got to be really careful because we ain't got any spares, have we? We haven't got any spares and we've got a total of 22 fits. So I certainly don't want a pain in my butt, as Gav correctly put it. So we need to be really careful now. Hopefully we're going to get this all assembled before we can get them into the bowels of our engine. Should we get on with it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, can you go the distance, baby? I hope you Always make sure when fitting new piston rings, if they're marked with the top, you get them the right way round. It sounds simple enough, but it's an easy one to miss. I'll tell you, darling, I'm the man who can. You know all those things about love that you've been told. I'll tell them to you every day and now. It's recommended that when fitting new piston rings, you ensure that the gaps don't line up. We're really not sure if this makes any difference, but I tell you what, we're going to be doing it anyway. I want someone beside me through the wind and rain and if you are That certainly is a far cry from those old things Gav and I fought to get out of the block. If you're enjoying seeing these pistons go back together, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. I hope you can, I help you go the distance because honey that's the plan. Life's a journey, but we think that it be need Taking turns of being in the driving seat You know I wear your ring of love, a sacred blessed gold I hear you say you love me from now until I'm old We can stick together, this woman and this man Overcoming all resistance With the temperature reaching a fruity 36 degrees Celsius in the garage Things are certainly starting to warm up Sweaty mess, pistons assembled. <laughs> pistons complete. <coughs> right, Gab, should we put them in the engine? Let's put them in the engine. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Right, come on then, brand new pistons going into the new liners. Let's get this block built back up. Yeah. It's about time, isn't it? It certainly is, yeah. It's been a sweltering hot day. It's now actually getting dark outside. It's been a long one. We can do this. <laughs> we, can, we can and we will. <laughs> Getting this thing working has all just been so far about keeping going. Yeah. Compress those rings. Right. The cutout was towards that side. Should be number at the front. The number should be here. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Right. So if I, right, if I have it like that. Get to the key of magic in. Having oiled all of the pistons up to make sure they're going nicely and well lubricated does have its drawbacks and makes this job a little bit slippery tricky. <laughs> Pistons are back in this engine. <laughs> Take a moment. You know what's next, don't you? The crank. What about middle? Is middle in the right orientation? Hang on, I need to drop my hands out. Is that the bolt? No. That's the top. Yeah, that's the bolt. That's the bolt. That must be middle in there. the face then. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's in. 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 It's
minutes in, that dropped in a lot easier than expected. And although the hours are ticking by, things are going to plan. Right, so it's just gone midnight now. Um, so the last thing we're going to do now is reconnect these con rods to the crankshaft, put the bearings and end caps in, get this crankshaft spinning, have a look at these pistons going up and down, and then we're going to knock it on the head. With the con rods all torqued up, the split pins in and the twilight hours drawing in around Gavanite, it's time to set this engine the right way up and see all four pistons move for the very first time. really has been a long hot day but it's at times like this that you really know who your friends are and you just seem to keep going for each other. We've just, we've just discovered that the bottom piston ring on piston number four, our beloved piston number four has come out of the liner, which means we can't move anything and it's stuck and it's in a place where we can't get to it. Uh, so we're gonna tip the engine back up and uh, see what we can see, but this is not good. And it's very early in the morning and we're keeping going. <laughs> Pistons now level with the top. So this is the piston starting to come clear of the block now. Okay, that was it, that was it popping. Oh I am at the guy, I can see that. This might just work, yeah. You've got work. a bit more. You let me more. let me yeah, come on in. Come on then. That's your I got it. Okay. We can get it from here. We can get, we can get it from here. Get it from here. Right, can you push the? Uh, I need a couple of screwdrivers. I mean, can you just keep pushing it up, as it were? I'll do my best. Thanks. I'm going to be pushing. We're on it. Yeah. Need a bit of work. I need to give that a little bit of. We're nearly in. I don't want to let this go. 
Come on, I'll go in here. the weasel. <laughs> I'm gonna cut off in a minute. <laughs> oh, I can't hold anymore. Ah. It's done. We've done it. We've done it. Ah, come on, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Lana's back on, mate. Oh. <laughs> this is something else, isn't it? This engine. The conrods are now reconnected and torqued. The split pins are refitted, and we're putting the engine back down. Are these pistons finally gonna move? The crank is in, it's connected to the conrods, which are connected to the pistons, aren't they, Gav? So look at this. <laughs> that is a beautiful sight. That is a beautiful sight. And the first time that we've seen those four pistons are moving in this engine block, and probably the first time they've done it in what? 30 odd years, isn't 30 it? 30 odd years. So we are making progress, although it would be fair to say this had be, has been slightly more challenging and a bit of a Rubik's Cube than we are expecting, but it is now back together. Yeah. We've learned a lot about this engine along the way and it is a tricky beast. And that's mainly because the crank doesn't come in from the bottom in like we're used to in most engines, but it comes in from the rear, which means there's a very particular order you have to do things in. And it's taken us until 2.30 in the morning to work that out and me, almost losing the power of speech. Anyway, that is sadly the end of the episode. We really hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Please leave comments down below on anything you've seen and you'd like to talk to us about. Also, if you've enjoyed the episode, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you'll be notified of the next time we release an episode. Until next time, I think it's fair to say, Gab, that you and I need to go and catch up with some Zs. Definitely. And we'll catch you later. <laughs> A uh, wiggly worm in a peach. I should be scared. Wiggly worm. I mean, I've just turned this into Detroiters talk. <laughs> That was genius. That was ge I mean, I don't even know where. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you a classic. My mum. My mum is a classic. It is a thunderstorm. You have to go on around and unplug all the TVs and everything. Lightning. It's gonna come down the air and blow her telly up. Which is my mum. That's what she does. <laughs> Before it's leaking. I call him my a different day from the day that we started doing it. It feels like a different millennium. Hurricane.